Hi y'all, Savannah here. So I just wanted to show you today what I did with these ugly plastic drawers to make them a little bit more fun and a little bit more Harry Potter-esque. It's a very simple project and I just wanted to take you along to see how I did that in case you have some plastic drawers that you want to remake and do it too. So if you want to see what I did, stay tuned. <laughs> So I have decided to try to redo this um, plastic drawer set. I'm not 100% sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. I'm trying to think of possibly making it a, some kind of Hogwarts, Harry Potter theme or whatnot. But all I'm doing right now is I'm just painting the drawers. I'm painting them on the inside and outside of the front and the two sides of the plastic drawers. I'm leaving the back and the bottom plain because I'm not really concerned with those. I might even cover the bottom with paper. I'm not sure yet. But um, I'm using an oil-based paint. I'm not using a spray paint because I don't have it. So <laughs> this is what I'm using. And I'm just painting them brown. And then I think later I'm gonna paint the plastic part that this goes into, maybe a gold or uh, leave it black. And then maybe paint some little um, Gryffindor or Hogwarts crest or print them out and just mod podge them on and do something to make it kind of cute and fun. But this is my beginning stages. I have two drawers painted, one drawer to go. So um, wish me luck. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and paint the little thing that holds the drawers brown as well. So I'm using the same oil-based brown paint and I'm just going over it. You can see I have the front of it, the top of it done already. I'm just finishing it up. So I think that made it a little bit nicer looking. I tried just keeping the black, but it didn't quite look right and I don't have any gold or anything. So I'm gonna go with the brown and we're gonna see what happens from there. Everything's painted. And you see, I did the inside and the outside of this plastic drawers just because they were clear and I didn't really want anything like too streaky you can see you can see a little bit here on these but I'm not overly concerned with it too much because I'm going to go now over it with like a different color brown and I'm going to try to do a wood kind of texture to it I'm not sure how it's going to stick because this is an oil-based gloss like pink but we will see how it turns out um and then after that i think i'm gonna go maybe go on pinterest and get some ideas but i've seen some things where they made them look like little luggage suitcases and stuff so i might try to do something like that but um for now i'm gonna try to like make this not so shiny by putting a little bit of that wood grain on it so that's what we're gonna start now okay so i went ahead and i did the dry brushing technique with that whiter beige uh, brown color. So this is what it's kind of looking. So I wanted to see how it would turn out. I added a little bit of that darker, it was a nutmeg color. So I added some of it here and you can't really see a whole lot of a difference, but I think it makes it not quite as bright. Like it gives a little bit more depth and variation. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of my drawers just to give it that little bit of difference. So. That is what we're doing now. Okay, so I totally took the like layer of paint off that I have. Okay, so I decided to kind of just start all over. And I went ahead and did one drawer already. I think I'm just gonna make them the different colors and put these little 
like faux straps and handles on it to make it look like suitcases. The whole like uh, initial taping it didn't quite work since it's plastic, that tape just kind of tore off all of the paint. And so now I'm just gonna do like my Gryffindor little suitcase. I'm gonna have a little Slytherin style and a Noose Commander colored one. And then I'm just gonna leave the sides kind of the way I did. So when you see it from the side, I guess it'll have that like a little wood, like a uh, feeling to it or whatnot. But from the front, I think it'll have a cute look to it. Now I'm not sure how uh, durable this is going to be since this is acrylic paint over an oil-based paint, but um, we'll see. So I think it's turning out pretty cute. We will got to keep going. Okay, so this is where my, I think this is where my, my Slytherin uh, drawer is at. So I just simply painted it green, did these little black stripes, had this extra little stripe to kind of make it different from my Gryffindor one and then just in my little black corners for the little leather areas that they put there. Um, and now all I'm gonna do is just to make like these little like dots, these little nail heads. I'm just gonna use my silver paint pen and I'm just gonna just draw those right on there. And then after that, I'm going to take um, maybe like a gray color and I'm just gonna do a little bit of a highlight on here to give it a little bit more dimension for the handle so it doesn't look so like flat like that. And then after that, I'm gonna move on to my next one, my Newt's Commander um, one. So let's finish up this one. So this is what the drawers looked like before and this is how they turned out and I think that has a really cute Harry Potter look to them. It's simple, it wasn't really that hard once I figured out what I wanted to do and I would totally suggest doing something like this to transform those ugly plastic drawers. It was a very simple process and I would just, like I said, you can use spray paint or an oil-based paint and that oil-based paint actually helps to stick to that plastic a little bit better. One thing I would change just so you know is I probably would have went ahead and sanded it down a little bit before I started painting it but otherwise this is what it looks like so hope you guys go and make one for yourselves and if you enjoy these types of videos go ahead and subscribe and leave a like on this video as I try to make two videos per week thanks you guys bye